In this video, we are discussing polymorphism function overriding in Java. In the previous video, we have discussed the inheritance concept. So, in case of inheritance, the base class members will be inherited to the derived class. So, sometimes it may happen that in the derived class, we are writing or defining one method whose prototype is same or signature is same as that of the method which is existing in the base class and that is the concept of function overriding. And in this case, what will happen in the in the derived class, we are going to define the method with the same signature which is existing in the base class, it will have a separate different function body. So, let us go for further discussion on it. What is function or method overriding? So, function overriding is basically redefining the class body in the child class. So, child class means the derived class. The function structure is same that means the prototype the signature of the function will remain the same, but the tasks will differ for the overridden functions. That means the body of the function will be different, but the signature or the prototype of the function along with the function name everything will remain the same. If the current reference variable is referred to the child class object then the compiler will automatically call the child class method. That means from the object of the child class, if we call that respective method, then the method which was defined in the child class, that will be called not the base class method. To run the parent class method explicitly, we can use the keyword super keyword and the syntax will be like this, that is a super dot method name. So, if I want to call the method which is defined in the base class in the super class, then you are supposed to call it explicitly using the super keyword, there is a super dot method name. So, in this way, we can use the super keyword to call the base class method also. So, let us go for one practical demonstration on this concept for the better understanding. In this demonstration, we are discussing method overriding in our Java. So, here we are having one class, the name of the class is animal only one method is there that is a movement and movement will have only one line statement that is system dot out dot print ln animals can move. This is our the derived class that is dog and animal is the base class extends indicate that this particular dog is inheriting the properties from this animal. So, extends is actually denoting the inheritance. Here you can find that this animal is having public void movement. Here also within this dog, we are defining the same prototype function that is a public void movement and that is why it is called method overriding because the same method with the same prototype is being defined in the derived class also and it is having the respective string to get printed using system.out.println. Frog is another derived class and which is extending this animal class. So, this animal class is the super class also known as the base class and this frog is the derived class also known as the subclass. And here you can find that it is also having the same method, method same means the same prototype is their public void movement. So, here also the method is again getting overridden. So, now in this particular method, we are having this statement to get printed and that is another statement to get printed, but in between we are calling the base class method that is a movement. So, base class whatever the name of the base class it will be referred as super. So, super dot movement that means I am calling this movement method. So, there is a super dot movement that is a call the movement method of the parent class first and then and then we are printing this statement that is the frogs can jump. Before that calling movement method of the parent class will get printed. So, this is our override method class name of the file is override method and here we are having the main function. So, animal having the object animal is equal to new animal, animal dot movement we are called we are defining this animal is equal to new dog, this animal is equal to new dog, animal dot movement here animal is equal to new frog and animal dot movement we have called it. So, at first we are calling this animal dot movement then we have called the same, but here this animal has got instantiated with the dog class object and here animal has got instantiated with the frog class object. So, now let us go for the execution. You can find that animals can move this particular line got printed from this animal movement 
here in this case when you are calling this animal dot movement dogs can walk and run also so this is the respective text which were defined here just come to this code here so this dogs can walk and run also so this is the movement we are having this particular movement method we are having the respective string uh, getting printed and they have got defined in the dog in the dog class so next one is that this calling the movement method you can find that calling the movement method of the parent class and then super dot movement that means animals can move so that string is getting printed because I'm calling the base class movement method and then frogs can jump so frogs can jump has also got printed so in this way in this example we have shown you that what is function overriding and how to handle the situation I think the outputs are quite uh, well understood by you uh, please go on typing such codes and go on doing experiments at your end to get the more clarity and better understanding of this subject thanks for watching this video